Happy Monday, everybody. I hope everybody had a great Mother's Day weekend. We certainly did. I gotta tell you, most important thing in life are your loved ones. Keep them close. Got to spend most of the uh, afternoon with my granddaughter, and she's gonna be one. For all, for all my subscribers that have known you know, me pretty much personally. You believe she's going to be a year in about two and a half weeks. It's it's insane. And uh, time just really moves by so quick. Take it all in, everybody. Just take every day in. You know, no angst. I mean, we deal with our problems, but you got to remember what, what's the most important in life. And that is your family, your loved ones. And uh, I'm gonna try to knock this video out as quick as I can because I'm actually on my way to go take care of her for the rest of the day. So, welcome everybody. Today, we're going to do a review on the Cold Steel Drop Forge Bowie Knife. And let me tell you something. I have I don't know, 25, 30 knives in there that haven't even come out of her boxes yet. They've just been sitting there. So I'm just going to grab and go, grab and go. And I did a lot of research on the Hibben Stallone tribute and uh, you know, I took up a lot of my like free time. So uh, now that that's all out of the way, let's get back to all the other ones. So here we go, again, welcome the Drop Forge Bowie Knife. I saw this and had to have it for many reasons. First and foremost, cold steel. I have a lot of cold steel blades and I like them all. I have not been disappointed with any of them. Not a one. So cold steel already captures my attention. When I saw this, the concept, Drop Forge, for those that don't know what Drop Forge means, it basically means it's one piece. You know, Drop Forged. <laughs> they drop it in the steel, you know, mold a knife. No question on whether or not this is full tang. They should just call it the cold steel full tang, you know? So it comes with this secure X sheet. And um, I'm getting more familiar with this type of sheet because I collect Granway knives. And if you're not familiar with Granway, they are some seriously awesome budget, budget blades. And uh, same sheet, same everything. Um, they're on the something. So anyway, yeah. The price, this here runs you about between 50 and 60 bucks depending on where you go. And uh, just look at this, this golden color. I don't know how long that gold's gonna last. I have never used this. Let's go closer, it'll drive by. We're talking uh, five millimeter thick too, which is almost perfect for a blade. I'm so far really liking this. Uh, look, it even has a little lanyard hole. Didn't even know that. The model number on this is. Let's get let's get through the specs real quick, guys. Part number 36 M D. M as in Mary. D as in David. Drop forged. One piece. It's got a drop handle. I think I'm going to wrap it. I, I just, I have to hold on to something, you know? So um, I'm probably gonna give it a wrap and see how that goes. 11 and a quarter inch overall. Four and a half inch long handle. Six and three quarter clip point blade. Um, another thing that sold me on this is the steel 
the 52100. I think all of my customs from the Kukri house use the 52100 steel. And it's heat treated. It sharps pretty easy and uh, it keeps a good edge retention. And um, that's a huge selling point. I never heard of 52100 steel until I got my knives from Nepal, the KHHI Nepal. And uh, I have not been disappointed. So I'm sure cold steel is going to, uh, you know, live up to that. Let's see, about a thousand with them. Let's see what else here. All right. Oh, <laughs> I saw another YouTube reviewer, and he took the words right out of my mouth. This is the type of blade that you can load, loan your buddy. You know, the guy that doesn't treat his knives right. Right, this is the one you want to give them. <laughs> um, you know, uh, the uh, I, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry because I was just thinking of something funny. But um, yeah, this is that this is that knife you can loan your buddy. Me personally, I don't like loading out my knives. Uh, I like to get them back in one piece, and um. I try to keep them as you know as nice as I can. I'd say what 85, 90% of them are basically like a one-time use. Clean them up, put them away, and then I have the 10% that I use all the time. But I still maintain the beauty. You gotta take care of your knives. Don't try to like pry anything open with it. Um, there's tools for that. I mean, unless you really think you're going to be in a survival situation and uh you know you you're in a situation like james franco in that movie 127 hours you know and all you have to pry up you know a boulder off of your leg is your knife well then you know go for it but i i don't think i would because <laughs> if that's the only knife you got think of something else but um you guys get what i'm saying take care of your knives treat them well all right, and they'll last you forever, forever. So anyway, I think I am going to go wrap this real quick. So I will be back in a two shakes of a lamb's tail. Pardon me. I'm back. Live and learn, ladies and gentlemen. Live and learn. So I decided to... Uh, wrap this in some camo you know athletic adhesive tape i don't like it i just take it off easily you know but it does feel so much better but i'm switching to gloves right now and there's a reason i'm wrapping the blade i mean the handle and barely touched the blade barely and I got cut in like two different pieces two different places so um, gloves for the remainder of this review <laughs> God be careful she bites so listen it does feel a lot better having something to grip onto okay keep in mind that retaining button here, that retaining snap, is not gonna fit now, okay? Once you wrap it, forget this. Unless you have a longer, you know, retention strap you can hook on there. So, uh, looks like this might be coming off. Just so you know, okay? Where was I? I didn't even realize I cut myself. All of a sudden I'm like, what the heck? clean it up and I'm like the other one's bleeding two spots yeah that's that's smart gotta respect the knives I preach it I preach it I preach it you know all I'm doing is wrapping and it got on this end right here on the very bottom nip nip how sharp is this bad boy I haven't even tried it god I hate wearing gloves wow it's like laser 
sharp. Laser sharp. How about a damp piece of paper that's been sitting outside? Guys, it doesn't get any better than that. Honest to goodness. Ugh. Yeah, it's the damp part. So anyway. I'm over the moon with this, all right? I'm over the moon. My hand stings a little bit. But uh, instead of doing um, a little water bottle test today, I'm gonna do something I haven't done in a while. We're gonna play with some uh, fat wood, all right? I already started, you know, making a little pile because I don't want to take up your day. Here we go. Come with me. Yeah, I didn't want to take up your day. There's Leo. Hey, buddy. Coming over to say hi. Okay, hope we're in focus. I hope I didn't accidentally uh, shut you off. So I already started a little pile, you know, with some fat wood, courteous of my man, Redneck Renegade. I think I have enough to get it started. Boy, this thing really is sharp, guys. See if we can do this here. I just want to check to see if I could use this, you know, as a striker. Let's see. How do you want to do this? All right, let's try this. All right, let's see if I can cut myself again. Might have to uh, take some of that off. Yeah, if some look, I can already see the coating coming off. I can already see it. Oh well. Just want to make sure this thing works. Promised you a fire. Let's get one. You know what? Let me try this. Much better. Look at that. You guys got another hour? It's going. It's been a while. All right. Let's try this. Much better. That's for you, Redneck Renegade. Yeah, I think if I, uh, this coating comes off, might be able to do that. Yeah, I can definitely see the gold already coming off. But um, that's all right. That's all right. Guys, <laughs> highly recommend. I think that if you're a knife enthusiast, just when you think or thought that every idea has been done, it hasn't. The ideas are probably endless. You know, what else could they possibly come out with? The Drop Forge Bowie Knife by Cold Steel. What a fun little knife. Sharp, sharp, sharp. I can't stress that enough. So be careful. Be careful taking that out of the box. Be careful doing everything. Um, I was going to actually wrap this on video. I did it. I, sh I wish I did so you could see what not to do. But, uh, <laughs> all right, listen. 
I'm gonna put out the fire and then I'm gonna go spend the rest of the day with the granddaughter. Be safe, everybody. And uh, as I said, I got, I got a lot of knives to review, so I'll be seeing you more often, okay? Be safe as always, and I'll see you soon.